they left under the cover of night and arrived with the sunrise. Almost nine years of war over in a five-hour drive. They rolled across the same border U.S. troops crossed to enter Iraq in 2003. Feeling good. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of Iraq. Uh, woo! No weapons of mass destruction were found. A connection between the 9-11 attacks, Al-Qaeda and Saddam never materialized. They wanted to believe they were making Iraq better. But for many soldiers, the most important thing was keeping their buddies and themselves alive. I'm just glad that, you know, everybody came back home safe and, and we're just, you know, on our way back safe and sound. Not everyone came back, of course. Almost 4,500 U.S. troops died in Iraq in almost nine years, along with more than 100,000 Iraqis. 30,000 Americans were wounded. Those first soldiers planned on a quick battle to get rid of Saddam Hussein. Instead, a million and a half troops passed through here as the U.S. became bogged down in a war more complicated than it ever imagined or planned for. Their departure fulfills the U.S. promise to remove all combat troops from Iraq by the end of the year. I'm very hopeful that things will continue to move in the right direction. It's going to take uh, the Iraqi government, the Iraqi people to continue to make the right decisions, work together. In Iraq, as well as the United States, the war became politically untenable. Iraq rejected plans for a new and smaller U.S. mission here. Even the relatively non-controversial NATO training operation became a victim of politics. That mission ends as well after the Iraqi government refused to renew NATO soldiers' immunity from prosecution. U.S. military officials have always said that only a political solution can bring stability here. And as they leave, Iraq looks increasingly unstable. The biggest Sunni bloc in parliament is threatening to withdraw from the coalition of Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki. In the Green Zone, government forces have stationed tanks outside some Sunni politicians' homes. And many Iraqis, while happy that they finally have their country truly to themselves, are wondering what they've been left with. Jane Arath, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.